Looking for magic cards? Shop at Flipside Gaming using promo code LVD or find them on TCG Player through my affiliate link. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at another standard deck, this one nicknamed Rex Reanimator. It's a black green reanimator deck that's gonna try and cycle Titanothorax for two mana and then get it back from the graveyard using Bond of Revival and Blood for Bones. This deck is technically capable of attacking with a hasty Titanothorax as early as turn three. Doesn't happen very often, but turn four is pretty common. So the advantage, of course, of uh, reanimating Titanothorax is that it has cycling built in, so we don't need a discard outlet to put the Rex in the graveyard in the first place. It's just a simple two card combo Titanothorax plus a reanimation spell, so instead of having to dedicate our entire deck to uh, getting the reanimation target in the graveyard and reanimating it, we can spend a lot more slots in the deck to ramp cards to accelerate the combo and interaction to make sure we can still interact with the opponent's strategy. So let's take a look at the rest of the deck. At one mana we've got some early acceleration with Arboreal Grazer putting an extra land in play and Gilded Goose that can also ramp us and then later we can still get some value out of these one drops by sacrificing them to either a Blood for Bones or a Vraska plus activation so they're still somewhat useful in the late game. We've got the full playset of Skull Prophet which can ramp us and also can put the top two cards of our library into our graveyard so if we don't already have a Cycler in the graveyard we can maybe find one using the Skull Prophet and then we have some cheap removal with Heartless Act and then at two mana you can also put the Titanothrax, which we can cycle for two mana, putting a trample counter somewhere, which can also be relevant with uh, Skull Prophet, and maybe with the uh, Death Touch from Void Beckoner, Death Touch and Trample is a nice combination too. Then at three mana we've got Void Beckoner, which we can cycle, which is kind of the backup Titanothrax, so we have even more cyclers to potentially get back. Getting back an 8-8 Death Touch is not as exciting as an 11-11 Trample, but we can potentially still put a Trample counter on the Void Beckoner with the Titanothrax after we've reanimated it, so we can still get past any chum blockers. And then we also have two copies of Ashok Dream Render, which might seem like a bit of a weird inclusion, typically seen as a sideboard card, but it does double duty in this deck as a hate card against some strategies and as a way to potentially mill ourselves and find another reanimation target, since the Ashok is pretty important against the cycling decks, which rely on Zenith Flare to end the game, and if we can exile the opponent's graveyard with Ashok, we no longer need to worry about that, and we can just focus on dealing with the creatures, which is a lot more manageable. And then there's some other decks too where Ashok can be useful if they rely on the graveyard or if they need to search their library for certain cards, can also prevent a Fabled Passage from searching a land. So Ashok is still pretty useful, but there's definitely matchups where it's going to be better than other matchups. And then at 4 mana we've got our reanimation spell with Blood for Bones, does require a cheap creature in play to sacrifice, which is where the Grazer, the Goose and the Skull Prophet come in handy, and then can get back our Titanothrax or Void Beckner. We've got three copies of Extinction Event as a nice sweeper. Not too difficult to get a good two for one out of this, and especially against some companion decks like Juruda and Obosh, this can be a total blowout. And then we have three copies of Vraska, which is also great to ramp into early as a removal spell with a minus three. And then we can still sacrifice the Grazer, the Goose, or some lands to the plus two ability, gain some life, and draw some extra cards. And finally, the full playset of Bond of Revival as a more exciting reanimation spell as it will give the creature haste as well, so we can be attacking with the Titanothrax right away. And then the mana base, we have a total of 26 lands to make sure we can always put a land in play with the Arboreal Grazer, also featuring two copies of Castle Lochthwain as another way of drawing extra cards if we're empty-handed. Don't have the green castle since we're not really planning on hardcasting the Titanothrax, and we want our green mana to come into play untapped early on. And then we have 8 Swamps, 8 Forests, 4 Overgrown Tomb, and 4 Temple of Malady, which is especially nice to put in play with your Boreal Grazer. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the draw. Hand seems okay. Double Prophet to maybe mill over a big Cycler. Facing a Temple of Plenty. I'll say it, so this must be the Aura deck. We'll just play the Skull Prophet here and then can maybe save the Heartless Act for a Citizen Champion. 
Alright, there's a Satassan Champion. I want to kill Champion before it picks up any counters and they get to untap with Alsei to protect it. And we can play another Prophet or I can start milling myself with the current uh, Prophets. I guess I would rather play another Prophet first. And then I get to mill myself for four cards to try and find something. Extinction events, naming odds would be pretty good. So let's mill myself first. There's a Rex. So I could get back Titanoth Rex, but it is an odds mana cost. So then extinction event naming odd would be a little awkward. And this could definitely become bigger than a Titan of Thorax if they have another all that glitters and some enchantments. So it might be safer to Extinction Event first here. And then next turn reanimate Thorax. So the goose is gonna die, but I guess that's fine. Guess I'll use the goose for mana that way. I can attack for three. Opponent might have been keeping up Karametra's Blessing. Another Sadassin Champion. And we should be able to outrace them. Put on down to one. These decks typically don't play much removal. And our opponent concedes. Alright, awesome. So just enough removal to interact with our opponents and then hasty Titan Rex to close out the game. So our deck often plays out kind of like a mid-range deck with a combo finish as opposed to a true dedicated combo reanimator deck. On to the next one. All right, we're on the draw. I don't mind this hand. We've got double grazer to ramp into this Raskas on temples to scry. And I love putting Temple of Malady in play with our Boreal Grazer. Facing blue red Temple of Epiphany. And then we can always sacrifice the grazers to Vraska as well. Do need more lands. And then we gotta send a message here. Alright, there's a blood for bones, so just missing a Rex to reanimate now. Let's uh, play Vraska. Alright, that's too bad, so now we're one mana short of uh, paying for the disputes. And we don't have much going on until we find a Titanoth Rex. Or a Void Mechaner at least. Another Blood for Bones. Can make a food token with a goose. Castle's not bad. 
I guess I wanna do this main phase. And now the Prophet can maybe mill over something good. Opponent's gonna use their castle as well, keeps two cards on top. So this is probably a team of Reclamation deck, if I had to guess. And there's a Rex. Well, let's see if they have another counterspell here. Another Disputes. And then we'll just hit for three, play Temple. They probably should have waited until I attacked. Now I get to mill myself for two. And another Rex. Do I want to keep that? I'm not close to hard casting it, and I already have one in the graveyard, so it's not doing too much for me. Especially if they kill the Grazer, I'm gonna need another creature to sack to the Blood for Bones. This time I can pay for Mystical Disputes. But it's a Thassa's Intervention instead, and I'm one mana short of paying for that. Although they could have tapped one more mana, I guess. Alright. Well, at least we've got Castle Lochthwain drawing us some extra cards. Can maybe sack a food token and getting some life. Extinction Event probably not doing too much in this matchup. Bond of Revival's good. Could see them uh, cast a Thassa's Intervention to draw some cards. Or maybe a small expansion explosion. Alright. This kinda plays around us having a Blood for Bones to sacrifice the Skull Prophet. Hopefully they're out of counter spells. Alright, so we will get to hit for 11. Bottom, bottom. And even if they have a Brazen Borrower to bounce this, I'm one land away from just hard casting it again. Opponent's cries and then concedes. Alright, awesome. So, had to fight our way past a bunch of counter spells, but eventually, once we got to stick the Titanothorax, they didn't have a great answer. On to the next one. We're on the play. This hand's missing a reanimation spell. But. I do have a lot of ways to mill myself, so as soon as I find one, I'm pretty likely to have something to reanimate. I'll try it. Facing Angel Innkeeper with a Temple Garden, and there's our Bond of Revival, perfect. So next turn, I could play Ashok to start milling myself. Can use a Skull Prophet too. 
opponent's probably playing Giant Killer, so gotta watch out for that, killing my Tatanothrax. So... Mill myself first. And then we'll play Ashok. Loyal Pegasus, so opponents definitely pretty aggressively slanted. Gonna have to block the intruders if we want to prevent them destroying my food token. And there's a Rex. And then... I guess I want to use a Goose. But as I've said, our opponent's pretty likely to have... a Giant Killer, which will still end up killing my Rex before it does too much damage. Opponent's down to four. Let's hope they don't have it. For mana. They could also be playing the Loxodon, which they can convoke. But that's not gonna be enough here. Alright, and our opponent concedes, so they must have been out of adventures. On to the next one. We're on the play with a pretty decent hand. So we're missing a reanimation spell, but uh, I've got Temple to maybe look for one. And there we go. So turn two, I get to go Goose plus Cycle Rex. And then turn three, Blood for Bones, facing the Cycling deck. So an early Rex is definitely an effective way to uh, fight that deck. And then Ashok is a good way to make sure they don't burn us out with a Zenith Flare. Let's see how they deal with an 11-11. They're just gonna keep on cycling. So currently five, make that six cycling cards in the graveyard. Voidbeckner, not too useful right now. Possible that cycling Void Bankner was better than playing Grazer, but we could also empty your hand to start using the castle. So they pretty much need a Zenith Flare here to stay alive. But uh, alright, looks like they don't have it. On to the next one. We're on the play, and the sand seems okay. Missing a creature to reanimate, but we've got a Skull Prophet to maybe put one in the graveyard. Facing an Alsay deck. Alright, can cycle Voidbeckner. 
But I might still want to play the Prophet here. Because I wouldn't be able to reanimate back in her next turn anyway. And maybe I get to put uh, a Rex in play instead. Empty my hands for Castle. Uh, so it's another enchantment deck. Alright, there's a Rex. So. Can cycle it this turn, hoping for lands. No lands. I guess I'll attack. So if we draw land next turn, we get to attack with a Rex. There we go. And next turn I could potentially cycle to give this death touch. So that even if they have a bunch of toughness to put in front of the Rex, I only need to assign one point of damage to each blocker to take it out. Another all sides. And they attack for one. Alright, so I can attack and then put this Void Beckoner to use. Karmatra's Blessing to make it indestructible. But I still only need to assign one point of death touch damage to the Sedescent Champion, and thanks to Trample we can trample over for the rest. Alright, sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a fine looking hand. Missing a reanimation spell. Let's see if we can scry into it. There we go. So turn 2 Prophet, turn 3 Cycle Rex, turn 4 Blood for Bones. It's facing the Cycling deck. Might just play turn 3 Vraska to kill the Fox. Extinction Event also pretty effective, especially if they play another copy. Ominous Seas instead. It's not too much of a concern. Yeah, I guess I would rather just... Uh, Reanimate my Rex. It is going to make it tricky to then Extinction Event naming Alt afterwards, but I can just use Vraska to kill the Fox. And then I guess I should cycle now, in case I draw into something useful. Ashok, useful at shutting down Zenith Flare if our opponent's playing a red as well, which they are pretty likely to. And then I might as well mill myself for two end of turn. I'll take it. Can attack for three and then uh, cast a blood for bones. Mm. 
So currently four sign colors in the graveyards. They might be able to make a Kraken token, but the Rex is still bigger. And I can Vraska killing the Fox pre-combats. So I think that's the plan here. And then they'll be forced to chum block with the uh, Kraken token. I'm good at what I do, and what I do is win. And I even have the Ashok next turn to exile their graveyard to make sure Zenith Flare doesn't get them back into it. An 8-8 Kraken token having to chum block is a pretty weird sight. But here we are. So Zenith Flare would currently be for 7. But then Ashok can prevent a second one from burning me out. Can still mill myself. We'll still get to exile the opponent's graveyards. And that's game. Alright, sweet. So, yeah, the Titanothorax Reanimator deck is pretty effective. Might not be as uh, powerful as reanimating an Agent of Treachery in some matchups, but in other matchups, getting back 11 11 Tramplers is even better than stealing an opposing permanent. So, yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. Wanna thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.